Recently, I began to notice that even some Western experts and analysts have increasingly begun to refute the propaganda statements of the Kiev regime that the Ukrainian armed forces are allegedly experiencing munition famine and a shortage of other types of weapons. The fact that the Ukrainian army is not experiencing munition famine is recognized even by some Ukrainian telegram channels. Moreover, the situation on the line of combat contact also indicates that the West regularly supplies Kiev with all necessary military assistance, including 155mm shells. For example, in the Bakhmut direction of the front, in the battles for the city of Chesivyar, the armed forces of Ukraine are using the same number of artillery shells as the Russian troops. In particular, this fact is recognized by many war correspondents, even from the Ukrainian side. According to them, the armed forces of Ukraine engage in artillery duels along the entire line of combat contact, including the northeastern and southeastern parts of the city of Chesivyar and the duration of these artillery duels lasts for several hours. The fact that the armed forces of Ukraine are not experiencing munition famine is also recognized by the Russian military. According to them, the Ukrainian army uses the same number of shells as the Russian gunners along the entire line of combat contact. Moreover, in some sectors of the front, the armed forces of Ukraine even surpass the Russian troops in the number of FPV drones. The press secretary of the operational command of the armed forces of Ukraine under the designation Kortitsa, Lt. Col. Nazar Valashin, even admitted that the Ukrainian army uses more than 70 drones in the battle for Chesivyar per day. The fact that Western military factories are working for the needs of the armed forces of Ukraine in non-stop mode is not a secret. Every day, NATO countries supply Ukraine with tens of thousands of artillery shells, drones, missiles, small arms, and other types of weapons. Moreover, NATO countries also supply the armed forces of Ukraine not only with valuable intelligence, but also with so-called mercenaries, who are former or even current soldiers and officers of the armies of Western countries. And against the background of this involvement of the West in military operations against the Russian Federation on the territory of Ukraine, truly strange events occurred in the United States and Britain, which alarmed the leadership of NATO and the Pentagon. In particular, on April 16, 2024, in the United States, in Scranton, Pennsylvania, a fire occurred at a military factory that produced a large amount of shells for the armed forces of Ukraine. Witnesses claimed that they heard the sound of an explosion before the fire started. It is still not clear what exactly caused this explosion and the subsequent fire. At the moment, this American military plant has suspended the production of shells for the armed forces of Ukraine. This military plant belongs to the American company General Dynamics, and the management of this plant has already begun to restore the damaged equipment and assess the damage caused by the fire. However, as it turned out, this was only the beginning of a series of strange events on the territory of the military factories of the Western countries. As it turned out, the day after the incident at the military plant in the United States, a similar case occurred in Britain. In particular, on April 17, 2024, a powerful explosion also occurred at a military plant owned by BAE Systems, in Wales, resulting in a fire in one of the buildings located on the territory of this plant.
As it turned out, this British military factory also produced a large amount of artillery shells for the Ukrainian armed forces. Unfortunately, the British authorities still refused to report exactly what exploded at this military plant, and exactly how many people were injured as a result of the explosion and the fire that started after it. At the moment, the military plant in Wales has also temporarily suspended production of 155mm artillery shells for the armed forces of Ukraine. The investigators have already begun investigating this incident. These strange explosions at strategically important U.S. and British military factories that produced artillery shells for the armed forces of Ukraine have already caused heated discussions in the expert community and telegram channels. In particular, some Russian telegram channels in all seriousness stated that these explosions on the territories of Western military factories were carried out by Russian saboteurs. Moreover, Russian sources claim that these saboteurs were allegedly citizens of the United States and Britain, who sympathize with Russia, and fully support its actions in confrontation with the West. The fact that these Western military factories were subjected to a real attack by unknown saboteurs is also indicated by the recent decision of the NATO and Pentagon generals. In particular, these top generals ordered to strengthen the protection of all military enterprises not only in the United States and Britain, but also in the territories of other Western countries. However, many experts are confident that these actions will not stop the activities of Russian saboteurs in the United States and other NATO countries. According to them, such incidents in Western countries will continue until the end of the current war in Ukraine.